This afternoon, Kamala Harris answered reporter questions for a whopping two minutes. And now the mainstream media is going after each other about her lack of real engagement with the press. She's going to take questions. We're going to make sure of that. Let me just also say this. Like, <clears throat> don't nobody care but us about somebody taking true. questions. No, that is no, very I, true. No, I speak you know, to Wednesday no, no, voters no, no, no. Me, all the oh, time. But I, they have I questions, literally, they want answers. No, 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 Just this is them. so in the beltway. No, because it really isn't. You're not the first person to, to make this argument that she doesn't need to do this. It's very inside the beltway. This is for us. You lose credibility when you do that. Because if it were someone else, you would be demanding that right. they sit down for questions. And why shouldn't she? She should answer these questions That's, for the American people. And she people. will. Alicia, as a journalist, as an anchor at this network, do you find it insulting that people are actually defending Kamala Harris now three weeks since being the Democratic nominee, essentially not taking questions? Anita, I'm sorry. That's OK. I, you know, it is insulting. I mean, that's what we do. And the press should be insulted mm -hmm. that she is not taking time to answer their questions. Um, that's it doesn't matter whether she's a man, a woman. Uh, she is a, a candidate for the president of the United States, and she needs to take questions from the press. It is absolutely insulting, and I was just thinking that earlier today. Indeed. It, I really was. Miranda. Look, you're 100% right, and Donald Trump put it in one. He said, if you can't hold a press conference, then you shouldn't be president. If she can't take questions from the media, it means there's something wrong. She's trying to hide from scrutiny, and it's because her record is so appalling and her ability to articulate a point is really lacking. Gianna, we're, we're seeing video and, and sots all over the place down on tape, sound bites, at rallies from Kamala Harris saying the same thing over and yeah. over again. This is the artificial intelligence chat GPT <laughs> candidate, is it not? I mean, 100%. And, you know, Essie Cup, who works over at CNN, I know her. She's no fan of Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Not right. one bit. Yeah. And she's adamant about what we all should be adamant mm -hmm. about, which is you must take questions. Now, here's the consideration, though. Yeah. When she does take questions, then it's going to create news that they don't want to cover. Exactly. Yeah. Gianna, let's, let's, and everybody else here, let's take a, a look at the montage of Kamala Harris sounding like she's on a loop. Let's play it. Mm -hmm. It really is good to be back in Wisconsin. <laughs> it is so good to be back in Michigan. Listen, let me tell you, I am clear. The path to the White House runs right through this state. And listen, I am clear. The path to the White House runs right through this state. I took on perpetrators of all kinds. I took on perpetrators of all kinds and had a summer job at McDonald's. I had a summer job at McDonald's. So hear me when I say, so hear me, Detroit, when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. I know Donald Trump's type. And are we ready to fight for it? And are we ready to fight for it? And when we fight, we win. Oh, Gianna, that's some outstanding producing right there. That, 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 that absolutely is. And this is Hillary Clinton 3.0. She's inauthentic, and she's going to continue to be that way. This is true. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.